So a vacation club is trying to decide where to go this year, either Hawaii, Orlando, or Anaheim. Uh, and their votes are shown here. Now, we wanted to capture more information than everyone's, you know, first choice. So we didn't ask them to just vote for their favorite. Instead, we asked them to, uh, rank their choices from, from, uh, from first choice, second choice, and third choice. In other words, to give their choices, uh, in, in order. So what we're going to do is create something called a, a preference schedule. Uh, and a preference schedule will take all these individual ballots and combine them into, into one table. Uh, so it's also going to list, uh, first choice, uh, second choice, second choice, uh, and third choice here. Uh, but we're going to group the data by uh, by preference. So we see here Bob voted AOH in order, so we'll go ahead and do AOH. And we're gonna see how many people voted the same way. Apparently he's the only one. So we're gonna put a 1 up here to indicate that there's one vote, uh, for the order AOH. So let's look at the next one, AHO, which is how Ann here voted. And let's just, we already got this one. I'm gonna mark these off as we go. AHO, AHO, uh, AHO. So we got three people who voted in the order AHO. Uh, next we could go OHA, which is here, uh, OHA, OHA, OHA. So we got three people who voted that way. Uh, and then let's see here, HAO looks like it's next, and we've got HAO, HAO, HAO. Uh, so we got three people who voted that way. And so this is our entire preference schedule. Again, number of voters is across the top. If we are just have a preference schedule like this, we can always figure out how many voters there were by adding up the number of counts across the top here. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 would be 10. Uh, it's the 10 votes that were cast. And so there's our preference schedule, and that's going to be our starting point for analyzing voting.